This video presents a new design of a multi-directional bicycle robot for steel structure inspection. The robot can travel on complex shapes of typical infrastructures made of steel. This includes bridges, wind turbines, electric towers, oil rigs, and vehicles such as ships and submarines. The robot is controlled and monitored from a ground station that has integrated sensors for visual inspection. The visual sensors are able to detect rust and map those locations onto a model of the structure. The robot is an improved version of a bicycle-like robot with two independent steering units to expand its mobility. The robot is designed with magnetic wheels which are covered by silicon tires to create an adhesive force to increase the friction of the climbing process. Mode 1. This robot works as a conventional bicycle mobile robot. Mode 2. This robot works with a multi-directional function. The robot is able to travel on cylinders, internal and external corners of 90 degrees, traverse sideways, and can turn on the spot. The robot carries sensors for live rust detection and maps the collected visual data to a 3D model of a scanned structure. The current design allows the robot to traverse anywhere on a structure to inspect the surface. Due to the difficulty of scanning large structures in outdoor conditions, the only test conducted for locomotion and rust detection was on a cylindrical bridge on the University of Nevada Reno's campus. The multi-directional bicycle robot for steel structure inspections was created in the Advanced Robotic and Automation Lab at the University of Nevada Reno with advisement from Dr. Hung La. If you would like to contact us for more information, please email us at the addresses below. The views, opinions, findings, and conclusions reflected in this publication are solely those of the authors and do not represent the official policy or position of the National Science Foundation or U.S. Department of Transportation. Our work is funded in part by the United States National Science Foundation and by the United States Department of Transportation. Thank you for your time.